Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. In this video, um, it'll be a short video on how to protect your solder joints from being overheated with heat shield. This is a Herps appliance that has stainless steel crowns that are laser, wel laser welded stainless steel crowns. And I can go ahead and solder this without worrying too much about hurting the crown, but by adding so much heat, what happens, I'll point this out, this laser welded part right here is going to become a little bit weaker by just having so much heat in this area. So I'm going to protect it. And by doing this, I'm going to use heat shield. Um, the company that makes this is called Vigor. And it, it's like a putty that you can put on. And what I like to do is not only cover the surface of the, the surface area of the crown, I cover the, the laser welded part hundred percent and what's cool about this is when you're done soldering all this will just it just flakes off but I've tried a couple different blockouts or heat shields on the market and this one is definitely I rate it the best so not only will I cover the surface of the crown because it makes it easier to finish and polish pumice and polish and and um, some people use a handpiece but also you want to protect the wire that's where your solder joint's going to be before you solder. I'll do the same exact thing on this side, but this time I'm going to use, um, there's a guy who's making videos in Texas who I watched his YouTube videos, it's called Retainer Design, he's got some awesome ortho videos, techniques, and he uses this monojet. Um, I tried it out and I actually liked it too. It's good for getting underneath the expanders and I'll, I'll give an example of that. Um, in this case I have an expander really fast and, when, and sometimes you've got to really um, get this putty or heat shield to go underneath the wire, all the wires to protect the screw. And then what I like to do is just kind of pat it down. This way you're really protecting your expanders. But the mono jet's a different way, um, another way to apply the heat shield. Uh, this, right now I'm just gonna bury the crowns, the surface of the crowns, and all laser welded parts, especially on a Herps appliance. before soldering. So back to what I was saying about the retainer designer. He has a website and a, um, a blog and you can also hook up to his ortho channel, his YouTube channel, and pay a monthly fee and you can watch ortho videos in long length because we don't have the time to make super long ortho videos. Um, techniques but to, it's a great opportunity to learn different um, ways to do ortho because it's really hard to learn this stuff on your own. So before, here's another, the upper portion of the herps, and you have these, what we call axles. And it's really important, these are all sweet labor, um, laser welded parts that are A, very expensive, so you want to protect them, but B, you, you want to protect these solder joints from being overheated because they have to last at least six months in the patient's mind. So what we're going to do to protect that is just bury it in heat shield. That way the heat won't get to that solder joint and make it weaker. Uh, right now it's super strong and stable, but you want it to stay that way. So like I said, by applying as much heat shield as possible, you can keep the temperature down from that solder joint. Another part I'm going to do is I'm going to solder, I'm going to solder this joint to the crown, and I'm going to protect the wire up to the solder joint. And check out my other videos. I have some videos coming up shortly on how to solder, um, how to solder laser welded parts together, how to um, solder herps, crowns, banded RPEs.
space maintainers. And um, be sure to set your settings on the subscribe button because that way you'll be notified every time there's a YouTube video that I post rather than doing a search for it. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.